What's going on everybody? My name is Kirby Kwan Jr. from The Six. Today I'm back with yet another video. As promised from last week, I did get the Assassin's Creed Origins Hidden Blade and today we're going to give an unboxing, my quick first impressions, and that'll review it as well all in the same video. So let's get started. Come again. This is Kirby Kwan Jr. Let's go. So I got my handy knife here. Obviously it's going to be a one take. I can't redo an unboxing unless I want to be a fake motherfucker like that. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and open up the seal here. And actually, I have this on purpose to help me with the second angle. So there it is. I'm going to go ahead and crack this open. Hopefully there's not a whole bunch of twist ties because then I would have to pause, run over, grab some scissors and cut that shit up. Here we go. So I've pretty much gotten all of the other previous uh, released Hidden Blades. So it would be interesting to see what Think Geek has to offer with this. Uh, origin style hidden blade. Hopefully it's not disappointing. So when you first open this up you get it in its plastic tray and you get this instruction sheet that I'm talking about right here. Um, which is pretty much useless because it just shows you the buttons which you know you don't really need that. So uh, let's pop this open. And here we go. Here it is. I'll get rid of this, and, whoop, uh, I'll be honest, this, um, this kind of looks like shit, <laughs> but, um, this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a break, I'm going to, uh, kind of play around with this for a little bit, and, uh, and see if I could generate my, my final thoughts as to whether or not I recommend this one, because this one, so far isn't winning any points for me so you know we'll, we'll, we'll take it to the review okay this is like my fourth time trying to do this because every time i do this i would ramble so i unboxed it i played around with it a little bit examined it and compared them with the rest of my hidden blades so conclude that it just kind of sucks to be honest i mean if you look at it right it, it looks fine from a from a distance but then once you get close you realize there is nothing there right like it's just all of this is just flat there's just it's all flat details or sorry lacking of details it's all just a flat piece of you know rubbery plastic if you look at even like these type of little uh little gems it's just you know just nothing looks detailed or textured you know looking at the blade itself you know the blade itself the two-pronged blades i guess they're sculpted fine it's a it's a nice consistent look but then you get this nub here which i don't think is game accurate even for the character this belongs to and um you know just there's there's no real textures either aside from having it on like this th this little uh, capsule here which you know that looks fine but you know what happened to everything else you know this leather here really doesn't look like leather if anything it looks like chocolate and you might be thinking dude you're crazy like it looks perfectly fine but then i'll bring in this one here for example this is the the pirate blade now now don't mind the silver because i painted that but you know if you excuse that and you look at just you know this for example that looks like it's you know like sort of like leather because there's a texture on it and there's a little bit of a paint wash this has neither of that neither and you know, like even comparing it to the earlier or the earliest hidden blade, right? This one here, even though it's flat, there's no texture on it. There's still a brief paint wash to help um, define uh, the the sculpted details. Like if that if the wash didn't go through here, this would look a lot more plasticky. You know, same thing with this. You know, there's a lot more ornate details on it. Now I could I could kind of forgive. Um, the lacking of ornate details on this because it's meant to be more simplistic and ancient like I guess but Why do you have these tampographed emblems then you know like if anything that should be raised That's just the issue with this one. It's just really poorly poorly detailed. How do you go from this? You know look at all of that detail, you know, let, let me let me actually zoom in here for you and show you what I mean Look at all those details look at that nice and ornate right look at the blade you know even 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 like some of the textures here how do you go from that with all of that paint detail 
right? All that paint detail, all that sculpting to absolutely nothing. And that's sort of my biggest issue. It's just I've been spoiled with the other ones for it to be so great. And then now that we get this, it's just disappointed. Um, another really solid one is this one here. Doesn't this suddenly look like a toy next to this one? I mean, they're both toys, don't get me wrong, but it just doesn't look good. That's the issue. Even the gold, you know, this is a weird color. It's not quite a brass, it's not quite a gold. It looks more like a tan. Even in person, I know on camera it'll probably look like it's a tan, but like even in person, it looks like a weird metallic tan color. This at least somewhat looks like a, it's a it's a bronzish gold. Again, I'll zoom in a little bit and you can kind of see what I mean. And again, you could see even that has a little bit of a wash in there to, to help define the details. You know, this has a bit of a gummy sculpt in areas. Like, uh, where's a good example? Kind of like, um, kind of like th this here, if it'll focus. Like, that's a little bit gummy, but it's still there. And, like, there's a bit of a wash and color differentiation, uh, and different colors to help define it. The mechanism itself, um, does function like all the other ones. Um, the button is ginormous, so it is concealed. Uh, and it's surprisingly not super sensitive. I'll let, let it just focus. There we go. It's surprisingly not super sensitive. You need to kind of apply pressure right around here. That's kind of the sweet spot. And then as you kind of briefly saw, the blade will pop out. I'll show you that again. And when it pops out, it is cool. See? But the blade is pretty... The, 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 strong, uh, the spring is pretty strong in the blade. So the question, how long will this last? I have a feeling that it could break somewhat easily. Um, this is made by ThinkGeek. And um, the previous hidden blades that I showed you were all made from uh, NECA, McFarlane Toys. I think I rambled enough. And, uh, you know, the most important thing is, do I recommend this? And the answer is no. I unfortunately I cannot recommend this. It looks cool from afar, but it doesn't look cool up close. Um, it, it, it looks good. It never looks good, actually. I take that back. It doesn't really look good. The coloring is really boring on this. I would say if you want to get it and try to improve it, perhaps get some brown or black shoe polish and, go, and just, you know, apply it all over and then dab the rest away. And then you should probably end up with a bit of a wash effect on it. If you want to use this for cosplaying um, or, or, you know, for any kind of costume, on if you want to make a, for, a short film or anything, it will not hold up. It just doesn't look as nice as any of the other ones, in my opinion. And on top of that, it's just not comfortable to wear. You know, I, I said how how the Brotherhood Hidden Blade was extremely uncomfortable and hurt like a bitch, but honestly, this hurts my wrist a little bit more. And um, it's just, it's terrible. Um, get it if you're a big fan of the game. Get it if you're a completionist, I guess, kind of like myself. Um, but the most important thing is do not get this for retail. Get this when it goes on sale like how I did. It, it might even still be on sale right now, VB Games and stuff. But just, it's not a good, it's just not good, basically. So, nah, don't, don't, don't bother getting this, in my opinion. I, I really, I like this design, but I really cannot recommend it. Get any of the other Hidden Blades, if possible. Um, this has been Gerby Kwan Jr. Uh, not a big fan of this piece. If you want to get it, but only get it for on sale. All right, for now, I'm out. Peace.